Good morning and welcome to Rising. Just an incredible show today, Robbie. Incredible show or the most incredible show today? Probably the best show ever. Best show ever. Yeah, let's, yeah. We, we would never mislead the viewers. No, no we that. would not. We would not. That includes Ohio congressional candidate Nina Turner, who will be discussing her rematch campaign against Congresswoman Chantel Brown for Ohio's 11th district. Will Jawando and Denise Long will discuss the accusations of racism in the NFL by ex-Dolphins head coach Brian Flores. But the big news of the day, Jeff Zucker has resigned from CNN, telling co-workers he failed to disclose a romantic relationship with a longtime colleague. Now, the discovery of Zucker's relationship emerged from the probe into Chris Cuomo, uncovering the relationship between the now former president of CNN and his co-worker, CNN's head of marketing, Allison Golust. So here's Brian Stelter with the network's announcement. Zucker has been a larger than life figure at this news organization for nearly a decade, a pioneering figure. And now his resignation is stunning. This newsroom, Kate, we both know uh, he, uh, Jeff Zucker has been the rock for this organization. The last few days, he has not been on the morning editorial calls. Uh, some people even noticed and wondered uh, if something was amiss. I don't think anybody uh, saw this coming this morning, an announcement like this. But I think if Zucker was on that call this morning, I know what he'd say. He'd say what's important at CNN is not the person at the top, it's the, the team we all play for. It's CNN as an organization. This news operation, so much bigger than any single person. And so the news goes on, but now without the top executive. And I always forget to say Zucker, Jeff Zucker. So CNN insiders allegedly told Fox News they were shocked by the announcement, which they received via email yesterday morning, which said in part, quote, as part of the investigation into Chris Cuomo's tenure at CNN, I was asked about a consensual relationship with my closest colleague, someone I have worked with for more than 20 years. I acknowledge the relationship evolved in recent years. I was required to disclose it when it began, but I didn't. I was wrong. As a result, I am resigning today, Zucker wrote in a memo. Gallist, however, is staying. I've just received, Kate, while we're speaking here, a, a statement from Allison Gullist as well. As I said, Gullist, the top marketing executive for CNN, she's remaining with the company, and here's what she says, quote, Jeff and I have been close friends and professional partners for over 20 years. Recently, our relationship changed during COVID. I regret that we didn't disclose it at the right time. Uh, Gullist going on to say, I'm incredibly proud of my time at CNN and look forward to continuing the great work we do every day. So before her time at CNN, Gulls previously worked as a staffer for former New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and was even floated as a possible replacement last year for Zucker. Some are now speculating the reason Chris Cuomo lasted so long at CNN despite repeated ethical violations is because of Gulls' connection to his brother. Megyn Kelly responded to Zucker's resignation in a tweet saying, quote, Zucker's relationship with Gullist went on for years and what he did to keep her near him as he kept advancing her up the line will be even more stunning to the CNN newsroom. And, and that, of course, would be the real scandal here. You know, I want to be right. very clear about I, you know, people get upset, gossipy, who, who's sleeping with who. I don't care. They're adults. It, right. This is not a, this was a consent. It, they both described it as consensual. They've been friends for years. They're, I, I think they're together based on what I understand. They are now. They are now. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, that's fine. Right. Um, the problem is, right, you're not supposed, a, 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 a boss, a supervisor is not supposed to be involved romantically with an underling because, well, what happens when do they start shuffling them into a different position? Do they start making their work life easier? Or do decisions for the company get made with, because of that? And in this case, I, I think we're beginning to find out, but it, it, people like what, what Megyn Kelly said, others are suggesting that there was some of that kind of thing going on, and that would be the real issue. Right, and, and Megyn Kelly and others are saying that the, that there are more shoes that are going to drop and that yeah. we're going to learn more about this situation. And oftentimes what happens uh, in the wake of investigations like this is somebody might seize on the most anodyne possible thing and say that they're resigning over that. I should have disclosed my relationship right. with this person. Which made, every, which made so many people go, really? Well, who cares? Right. And right. So then you resign, you move on. Right. But in the public eye, right. you're almost a victim. Uh, of an right. overly puritanical right. society. And then only later you're like, oh, there, so there was all of this, all of these other things involved. And it, like, uh, and it goes back to the Cuomo situation. And so, when, so uh, in a couple of different ways here. One, there's this phenomenon where 
okay, why, why wasn't Chris Cuomo you know, disciplined for the, the poor editorial, poor journalistic judgment over this question? Well, it's difficult for bosses to discipline people if they themselves have skeletons that, uh, that say, Chris Cuomo knows about. Chris Cuomo obviously knew about this situation. And so if Zucker comes down on Cuomo, he's got this return fire ready. Like, you, you know, you take me down, I'm taking you down. We're all going down together, which is end up, what ended up happening, which is, shows you why somebody like a Zucker doesn't want then to discipline people below him. And that's how these systems of power reproduce themselves. Everybody's guilty, so nobody's guilty. Right. And then separately, if you've got not just the brother, but also the close aide to Cuomo, right. working you know, close with Cuomo, but also then, now we know very closely with Zucker, then that helps to explain why you get all this favorable coverage and, and why Cuo and Andrew Cuomo's brother could help him out of this jam and not get in trouble but, as a result of it until much later, until it became unavoidable. It's, it's stunning and embarrassing, frankly, how wrapped up in the Cuomo scandal, how compromised right. by it CNN is by virtue of the person in charge of the network having this relationship with someone who was an aide to Andrew Cuomo, right. and then and then pr before that worked with Zucker at NBC, and, and so so NBC to to Governor Cuomo to to CNN, um, so like yeah. you know re a revolving door of interest of, of moving between the media that between the people covering the administration, the administration itself, back to the media, romantically involved with the person in charge of it, it cl in close right. kind of professional and social environments with the governor and then his brother also being on the network like it's just it's this it's so hard to disentangle these two right. there's no way that coverage could be objective there's no one anyone could believe the coverage is objective even if they somehow were objective because it's it, it, at some point the appearance of a conflict of interest is a conflict of right. interest and this was a massive conflict right. of interest on so many levels right. on so many levels so, you know, you, feel, you almost feel bad for some of the hosts, some of the reporters, the people working there. Like, what are they supposed to do about right. this? They didn't. <laughs> like, hey, I've got a great scoop on Andrew. Um, oh. Right. And everyone in the room no, <laughs> knows the what call. works. Or <laughs> it's, yeah. So they, they man, what a, what a. So, so it's, it, it, there's that side of it. And uh, it, it is amazing that, uh, so, you know, Andrew Cuomo, Governor Andrew Cuomo, um, causes a lot of old people to die because of the nursing home policy, covers mm -hmm. it up, writes a book glorifying all, everything he did, uh, cover, covers up, goes to elaborate lengths to conceal his role in getting people killed, and, and then what, but, but has not been held accountable for that, but has resigned because of sexual misconduct, gotten his brother right. <laughs> out of CNN for a kind of sexual misconduct ish issue, and then the head of CNN also out over, a, you know, not misconduct of the, not a assault or right. harassment or kind of thing, but a, it's just kind of, it's just kind of, the person we want held responsible for all of this is Andrew Cuomo for the nursing right. home thing. That was the right. grave moral failing. And uh, it's the, but the, the interest in like, you know, sex adjacent, relationship adjacent stuff is just all consuming. And, right. Like, right. And me at times. Right. And, and what, what this shows is that the, the, prof the professional and social circles of the kind of democratic elites in New York and the media elites in New York are basically the same circle. Like that's, that's, one, yeah. that's one word. Yeah, I don't know how anyone could say it isn't after right. this kind of, like this is a pretty good example of how right. intertwined they are. Yeah, and so people rightly then understand, well, how, well, how are you then gonna objectively cover the people yeah. that you're in bed with? Yeah, hmm. and literally. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, st uh, st I know Stelter, for instance, wrote about uh, the uh, relationship between two, uh, I mean, it's public now, right? Sean Hannity and uh, an another, uh, another host at Fox, mm -hmm. and uh, that that had been a secret, and he'd, he, I think he wrote that in his book, I can't believe this is a secret, how is nobody reporting it? How is the same thing was, a similar right. thing was going on at CNN, and it, it seems like it was kind of an open secret, or right. some people knew like, about it. Now, now everybody who knew about it is talking about it. Right, now yeah. it was, a, oh, everybody knew about this, but no one said anything, which again, it's I don't care. It's a definition of everybody that doesn't include most of the world. <laughs> right, I, I don't know about <laughs> it. Yeah. And again, I don't, like, right, peop, adults engaging in a consensual whatever is not a, but, but because he was her boss and because it has to do with how the coverage went down, that's why uh, it, it's of interest. So it's, it's, I don't know, it's very fun. It's, 
I guess they're not going to report on the gossip in their own company, but they are for the other company, so I don't know. But what, what clearly the, the opposition to CNN, which is everyone in right wing media, CNN is the biggest, you know, they, the one they hate the right. most. What were they? What, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> you didn't uncover this. And what they ought to do? <laughs> Try but, harder. <laughs> and this is this is a challenge for uh, and an opportunity for Brian Stelter to show his independence. Dig in. Yeah. What's Megyn Kelly talking about? Like, what are these other shoes to drop? Like, what? What, what decisions were made based on this relationship that people will be shocked to find out about? If Stelter breaks that, that gives yeah. more credibility to you know, Stelter and to CNN that they can investigate themselves. Uh, it shouldn't have to come from the outside media reporters. Yeah. But they'll get to it quickly if he doesn't. That's a great point. All right, we'll tell you what's on our radars coming up next, and we'll also talk about this a little bit later in the show. Stay with us.